Hello. Yes, building de facto autonomous regions is the road to power. That's right. Let's take the Vox Party of Spain in the autonomous region of Andalusia. I think they've got 12 seats there now, uh, the Vox Party. Should they continue to win more and more seats, which I'm sure they're going to, and they control Andalusia, then Andalusia will be a springboard to power in Spain, without a doubt. And the same can be applied here in Britain. Once we go back into the white enclaves, the white communities, where tens of thousands of our supporters and voters already live, once we go back into those communities, win council seats, they will then in turn become de facto autonomous areas, which then in turn will become de facto autonomous regions. That is real power. And this is also something we can do. It's within our reach quite easily, especially in the white enclaves, the white communities that are surrounded by hostile neighbours, where tens of thousands of our supporters and voters live. Of course we can. We can do this without a doubt. The screenshot at the front was uh, municipal nationalism in action in Blackburn 2001. You see, municipal nationalism will lead to de facto autonomous areas, regions. That's real power. Not chasing Anne Subri up and down Westminster wearing a yellow vest. That's the comedy sketch. That's the pantomime and circus. I'm talking real power, right? This is how we do this and we can. We can do it, right? Because we've been there, we've done it before. So let's forget the fantasy wheel, building white communities. We don't have to, they're already there. They're already established with tens of thousands of our supporters and voters living there. Or we must have more white children to readdress the balance. I agree with that, Nick Griffin, but it's not happening. It's not going to happen. And there's nothing we can do to persuade young people otherwise. Or ethno states. <laughs> it's not happening, right? Building de facto autonomous regions is the road to power. Okay, thank you.